Hello, hello. I love tea. Do you love tea? Won't you have a cup with me? Hi, I'm Lady J of JB's Tea Room. And welcome to Tea and Jazz. Yes, we are officially in the holiday Christmas season. Hello, Lady Carla. Thank you for joining us for Tea and Jazz. So tonight, our tea, my tea for tonight, this is what I'm having. Orange berries, gold, and I'll go ahead and post my tea in the comment section. Um, let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and pour my water. Hope everyone had a great day today. Mine started out great, but then it became a little tedious, but it ended up okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour our tea. Warm my pot up. I kind of warmed it a little bit before we even started. All right. It's Christmas time. I'm so excited. I love Christmas. So that's what we're going to talk about tonight. A little bit about Christmas. The season of Christmas. What does it really mean? And do you celebrate it? Because everybody doesn't. Everybody don't celebrate Christmas. So we'll just chat about that for just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and this will get my tea ready. And this is a new one from Leaf Berry that we're going to be trying tonight, okay? So if you go ahead and post, post what tea you're having tonight, and I'm going to post mine. Let me get a bag. And I'm going to go ahead and get my tea ready. I'm just going to make it by the bag. Today, I'm not going to make a pot. So, y'all know, last week, um, when I came on, I didn't mention about, um, our little, uh, sharing gift. Remember, the, the week before last, I told you to do something good for somebody that you didn't know, or for somebody that could not return the favor, couldn't pay you back. So I did mine, and I forgot to tell you guys about it. So tonight I'm going to tell you about it, since it's the Christmas season and all, you know? So it was the week before, I think it was the week before Thanksgiving. Yeah, I had went to the store, went to the grocery store, and, um, no, Walmart. Take it back. I went to Walmart. Okay, here's mine. I put it in a bag. And let me go ahead and let you guys see. Let me pull the tea. Is it down? Can you see? No. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and pour my water. Okay. Here we go. So I'm going to let that steep for three minutes. Can you hear the music? Can y'all hear the music? Did not show y'all the tea. So let me show you this tea. This was a sample that was sent to me. It. This is the tea that I'm drinking tonight. So this is the tea for tonight. Y'all see it? This has a light smell. But let's see what we have. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let me finish telling you about. Oh, y'all yeah, see my tree? Got my tree. It's Christmas. Got my tree ready. Okay, that's my tree. Um, it need a little work done to it, but it's it'll do. You see? Y'all yeah, see my tree? I got my tree up. I got my tree up. Okay. Okay, so. To finish telling y'all about my story, so um, I I was at the Walmart and it was I had paid for my stuff, went through the self checkout line, and I was headed out the door, and right um, at the last stall of the checkout, it was a lady there and she was crying, and I was like, "Ma'am, are you okay?" And she said, "No." So I said, "What is wrong?" What's the matter? She said, I'm trying to get home and I can't get home. I said, why you can't get home? She said, because Uber wouldn't take her credit card. I said, Uber wouldn't take your credit card. She said, no, Uber wouldn't take her credit card. I said, well, how much is it for you to get home she said it's about ten dollars so i said okay fine so i rested my purse and i said well here's ten dollars so she said no i they don't take cash you have to do it by um credit card so i was like okay so at that moment i'm thinking okay this is a scam right so i said well no i don't have a credit card I said, well, where do you live? She said, I live right up the street. I said, well, right up the street. I can take you up the street. You want me to take you up the street? She said, yes, yes. That'll be great. So I'm like, okay, cool. So it was two more other ladies had stopped as well. So uh, we helped her out. She was sitting in a one of those motor, motorized uh, baskets. She was sitting in that. And that's where she had her, her groceries and things in. So we said, well, come on, let's come on, let's go. So those other ladies helped me get her out and get her to the car. And so we got her in the car, put her groceries and stuff in. So I said, well, okay, so tell me where you live. So she told me where she lived. And I'm thinking, okay, right up the street. Yeah. This lady was almost on the other side of town. And I'm like, how did this lady get way over here? No, I'm going to take that back. I may have thought it was on the other side of the town because we see like we drove so far. But actually coming home, I figured it wasn't. But I was thinking there had to be a Walmart closer actually to where she lived though. But anyway, I took her home. I took this lady home. I had to tote her groceries. Actually, she had her Thanksgiving dinner and stuff. Y'all had about 10 bags. And I had to tote those bags. And this lady, she lived in this nice complex. But she lived way on the back side of it. It's like this huge complex. And it had different sizes. And she kind of lived on that back side. So I had to tote all of this stuff. So I said... I challenged my ladies. It looked like I got the biggest challenge. But um, I did I did my challenge. 
And I just wanted to know how many of you ladies did your challenge. Or did you did you guys forget? I didn't forget. I forgot to tell you guys about it, but I didn't forget. So I did my challenge. Um, look like my phone was sliding down. Y'all, and I want to thank I had a birthday. Thanksgiving was my birthday. Um and I've got the ring light. Thank you to Lady Deborah. She gave that's what that was my birthday gift. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And uh I want to thank her for that. So, ladies, if you posted your tea, let me know if you completed your challenge that I gave you guys uh the week before Thanksgiving. So thumbs up to me for uh completing my challenge so i get a thumb up okay so let's check my tea it should be ready oh it looks good y'all it looks good <laughs> it looks good yes it looks good and i got something special with my tea on tonight too I'm going to show y'all in just a little bit what I have. So tonight, I'm not doing sugar. I'm going to do honey. I've got this organic honey. I'm going to use honey. I see some ladies just coming on. Thank you ladies for joining. It's tea time. It's time to sit back and relax. And just kind of reflect... So today, just kind of reflect on the season uh, of Kimmy. She said, I don't know the tea that was on my basket, but that's what I'm drinking. Um, I think you had, um, I think you had my special blend, lavender and chamomile, uh, Lady Carla. Okay, here's my tea. Here's my tea. Yes, y'all, come it look good. Yes, it looks good. And this is from Leaf Berry. Ordinary Gold. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is what I'm drinking. It was a sample sent to me by uh, Leaf Berry. So that's a new company. So let's try out my tea. I like it. I need a little bit more honey because y'all know I like my sweet. But I like that. It has a smooth taste. And I need to post it too. I'm gonna post my tea. Give me just a second. Let me get it all together and ready. So, is there anybody want to share um, their challenge? Did anybody complete it? Hey, Lady Mona, thank you for joining us. Hey, um, Lady Roslyn, thank you for joining me. Thank you, ladies. Go ahead and post what tea you're having. This is good. So, I have something special tonight with my tea. This is a chest pie. And that's what I'm going to eat with my tea tonight. I love chest pie. Let me go ahead and post my tea. Hello, Lady Deborah. 
I like your hair cousin. Thank you so much. I didn't get to do anything to my hair today. I took it down and thank you. I'm just going to say thank you. Okay, let me post my tea. This is really good. I, I, I brought something too that I wanted to show y'all. So for Christmas, for Christmas, I made some keepsake um, tin cans with tea. This has tea bags in it. Corey, please. So I've got um. I have four teas in here, four tea bags, and this is a keepsake can. I'm having chai tea and a slice of banana. Excellent, Lady Ramona. So this this can is only five dollars. Y'all know I've been going crazy on this five dollars. Hello, Lady Leatris. Hello, Lady Francis. Thank you guys for joining. So this keepsake can that has um, it has four tea bags in it, and this can is five dollars. And this is a keepsake. You can keep this, and this is where you can store you can store your teas in here um, when when you get teas, because when they kept sealed tight in a cool space. It lasts a long time, which tea lasts a long time anyway. And this will help it last even longer. It's for the Christmas season only. And I have different varieties. I have this one. We have, I've got this one, the little mailbox. This is the little mailbox. You have the tea. It also has the four teas in it. This one is also $5. These are $5. I'm going to go ahead and put them on the website tonight. So if you're interested in purchasing these, you can get them from the website, okay? <clears throat> and they're only $5. So only $5 for four cups of teas. You know you pay way more than that at Starbucks, right? So get your tea while they last. And our keepsake can for the Christmas season. You can get these for gifts. These will make, um, like for your co-workers, the ones that drink tea. This will be an excellent gift. $5. This will be an excellent $5 gift. You don't even have to spend a whole lot of money. And we have um, this one and this one. And then... I have a couple of more. I'm not finished making them all. We have some in here. 
you can put them in here as well. You want to put you some tea in here. This one also has four bags. And these are these are um, these are the teas. They was prepared with gloves, and they will be sprayed before they are mailed and sent out. But I sanitize them because of COVID. We still have to practice our social distancing and um, proper hand washing and sanitizing. Okay, because COVID is still here, and it's going to be here for a little while longer. So. I wanted to let y'all know about these here. Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay. And that's it. So no one. So no one did they good deed, or no one wanted to share their good deed. So, now what did I just do? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Or they different flavors of tea in the tin. Yes. Yes, they are different flavors. Some have different flavors. And then um, some are the same flavor. So if there's a particular flavor that you want, you can just let me know. And then that's what I can put in there for you, uh, Lady Ramona. I know. I know they are Lady Carla. They're just not speaking up. But that's okay. You know, we have some people that maybe don't want to share it. So tonight, y'all, we may not be able to do a whole hour because uh, I'm just, I may not be able to do the whole hour. Seem like I got some interference coming in. So I don't want to distract y'all or disturb y'all. Can y'all hear the music? No. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the teas, the, the cans can be prepared. So whatever, um, whatever flavor we have that you want. So if you just like uh, inbox me if there's a particular tea that you want. And I see if we have that one. If so, I can prepare it for you. Then if not, I just let you know. Okay. Then these only are going to be available up until the Christmas season. I mean the Christmas season, probably Christmas Eve. And then I want to remind y'all about um, the end of the year tea bash. The end of the year tea bash is going to be Sunday, December the 27th at 6 p.m. And we're going to do it on Zoom and we're going to be on Facebook Live as well. So, um, y'all get prepared, get ready, get ready to have fun and, and, and to meet each other, even though I can see you guys, but you, you can't see the other people, um, doing our Zoom, um, tea bash, you guys is going to be able to see one another. So that's going to be exciting. 
and it's going to be um, some exciting things going on as well. And that's going to be December the 27th at 6 p.m. And I'm already working on um, January schedule where we're doing um, our annual vision board. So we have a theme for it. And the theme is uh, cleaning up the clutter. Cleaning up the clutter. And, and that came to mind because of this year of 2020. There's so much going on. There's so much uh, with the COVID-19, uh, new things going on. And, and we just uh, sitting around the house and doing uh, different things and just get being lazy and not picking up after ourselves and, or leaving food, you know, just clutter. So as we go into the year 2021, we're just going to clean up that clutter. We're going to clean up that clutter, get a fresh start, and enjoy and experience life, okay? I've got a long, let me read this. Hold on. Let's see, who wrote? Ramona. Anna might not want to say anything, but she did a great deed for one of her friends. Excellent. Excellent. Yay. Thumbs up to Lady Anna. And Ashley, we're going to thumbs up to Lady Deborah, too. She did a good deed. So she did a good deed as well. So thumbs up. Thumbs up to our ladies that did their good deeds. And actually, we're going to keep that up. Because um, during this Christmas season, there's people that uh, that's in need. That a lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people have lost their family. A lot of people have lost their homes. And a lot of them have, you know, they've lost their income. So this Christmas may be a struggle for them. It may not be the Christmas that they're used to having. And they may not be able to do all the things that they want to do and that they are used to doing. So that's where... Our, de our good deeds come in. If just a little small, um, just a little small something can go a long way. Even some positive words. A positive word can go a long way for a person that's um, going through, that has issues or, or feeling down. A lot of people feel down at this time of the year as well because they've lost family members and they not used to or don't know how to deal with that loss so they like shut down so if you have one kind word that you can say it, it can brighten their spirits or lift their day so it doesn't have to be always giving something in order to be a kind deed it could be like, like i did just took this lady home and helped her with her groceries it can be just the kind deed or it could just be um it could just be uh like i said a positive word an encouraging word or or maybe a scripture or either just say a prayer with them it doesn't have to always be monetary or, or um, tangible gifts. It, it doesn't always have to be that. You can you can do um, a good deed even just by opening up the door. If somebody you see somebody that has their hands full, that's going through a door, just opening up that door is a kind deed. 
I love the banana nut bread from Starbucks. Okay, good. Yeah, call her. Yes. I, I eat that once a week, the banana nut bread from Starbucks. I eat that once a week at work. Yeah, doing, uh, I do a coffee time once a week and I eat that banana nut bread. Best bread ever. Yes, I love it. Mm hmm So, yeah. So, yeah, our candies, you know. Lawana. Hey, Lady Lawana, thank you for joining us. It's such a pleasure having you, ladies. So, as, yeah, so as we go about um, the holiday season, let's not be selfish. Let's not just think about ourselves. Let us think about uh, those that are less fortunate than us. Let's think about those that are, are kind of struggling um, mentally, emotionally, physically, financially. I mean, it's just 2020 has been a challenging year for us all. We all have had a challenge. We've all had uh, to readjust our lives. And we all had to do things, do things for the first time that we have never done before. We all had to uh, just look at life differently altogether because of the COVID-19. So, if you can just give a smile, even a smile is a kind deed. Just to give someone a smile and to let them know that there's light at the end of the tunnel. So just don't give up on life. Because if you're still here, you have a purpose. And... Even though you may not can't see it at this time, but there's a reason for you still being here. So just try to uplift the spirits of, of people that you see that are struggling during this season. Because everybody's not jolly in this season. Everybody is not happy in this season. They have things going on that 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 dampens their spirit and if you can be that beacon of light for that person that's having that bad day or that bad minute or just a bad moment then that's a good deed so uh, as we go about the next um, three weeks uh, till Christmas See, today's the 26th, so we have 20, 19, we have 19 more days before Christmas. So, uh, during that time, um, let's spread some joy. Let's spread cheer. Let's, let's spread love and, and peace. We get, we, sometimes we get so... We get so busy with our own lives that we forget that there's other people that is not as happy as you are or is not as cheerful as you are. And it's not because they're bad people. It's not because they're mean people. It's mainly it's because they have faced some challenges in life. And, and those challenges has caused them to feel a certain way. Probably, you know, in a negative way. But if we spread joy, and like I say, just a smile. Give just a smile to help brighten someone's day. And just tell them the true meaning. If you tell the true meaning of Christmas. Because Christmas is not all about giving gifts and getting gifts. 
It's not. The real meaning of Christmas is the birth of Jesus. So if you can spread that to them, you know, give them a scripture and let them know what the real meaning of Christmas is, then that can also help lift their spirits and, and brighten their day, you know? Because sometimes when people are in a, a bad place or a negative place, sometimes it doesn't take a lot to bring them back. Or, or it doesn't take a lot to cheer them up because a lot of time it's just temporary and people have been known to make a permanent decision on a temporary situation and sometimes that can be a bad thing you know sometimes we we don't need to make harsh choices on a temporary situation. Because sometimes, and a lot of times, um, those situations, can, they can work themselves out. They can work themselves out. You know? All you need is patience and probably just a positive word. Or just a positive person to sit beside you or just, you know, to say something positive, to, to, to give you that extra push, you know, to give you that extra push that you need. Because sometimes you just need an extra push to get you out of the dump, you know, because sometimes it's just one little tickle that pushed you over, you know, and, and it doesn't take a lot to bring you back. So... I'm going to challenge you all again in this Christmas season to spread love, to spread peace, to spread joy, and just be a person that lend a happy hand. Because it really doesn't take a whole lot. And you'll be surprised. You will really be surprised on what a difference that your little bit made to someone else. It don't have to be a whole lot. You don't have to have a whole lot. I'm going to give me another cup of tea. And this was kind of full, so I'm going to use the same tea bag. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't, you don't, it don't have to be a whole lot to just put a smile on somebody's face. It could just be the simple words of, of just have a great day. Have a good morning. Have a good evening. Just simple, simple things. It can be simple things. I really like the smoothness of this tea. This is this, it's really smooth. As always, our time is running by. So is there any anything anyone wants to share? Our last few minutes. This this pie is good too. I told y'all I was eating this chest pie, right? It's good. I noticed I was playing Christmas music. I hope y'all enjoying it. Y'all enjoying the music? I'm enjoying it. Oh, and I wanted to thank um, Carla Harris. I'm enjoying my tea after dealing with my assignment. I needed to relax. Good. 
good lady called her. Glad you're enjoying it. So today, oh, and let's all uh, cheer up uh, Lady Carla. Lady Carla graduated yesterday. Yay! Yay, Lady Carla. So everybody cheer Lady Carla. Congratulate her on her accomplishment. Congratulations to Lady Carla, yes, on her accomplishment. Because you know, school, it ain't always easy, especially during this uh, COVID, this virtual learning. That's a new thing that we all learning as well. Hello, Lady Ella, thank you for joining. I really appreciate you ladies stopping by, chatting with me, enjoying tea. How many people finished with their shopping? I'm almost through. I'm not finished. I'm just about. Just about. I'm not doing a whole lot this year in the shopping department. But I just picked up a few gifts. I almost let it come. Yeah, I'm almost too. I got another package today. I came in. I had another. Look. Why is Amazon, oh, I ain't going to tell that. Look, y'all, Amazon is the bomb. Y'all hear me? Amazon is the bomb. So, every day I'm coming home with a gift, with a box at the door. So, I'm excited about that. I've got some of them wrapped. I got a lot. Hey, look, who remembers this? Let me show y'all something. I think so, so every every year my 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 family buys popcorn. I think this is a beautiful can. I really got this for the can, y'all. This is popcorn. So every year my family buys a can of uh, popcorns for Christmas. So that we just nibble off of during the holiday season. And I got this can. And I, I saw this can because it has the pine trees and the wooden cabin full of snow. So this is what I encountered last week, the Thanksgiving week. And it just, I just felt it was so appropriate for this me to get this can this year. So, how many of you have a tradition that you go by each year? So, uh, that's my family's tradition, the popcorns, and we have the cans of cookies. My oldest sister, God rest her soul, she has left us, but she always gave us a can of, of uh, cookies, Christmas. So, I haven't seen them yet. Because I need to go back to Walmart and look for those cookies. Because I need those cookies. That is a family tradition. To get those cookies. So I'm going to get those cookies. Because I love to get those cookies. Because it makes me happy. It makes me smile. And it makes me think of my big sister. Whom I love dearly. So. what What is your family tradition? Who has a family tradition? that you would like to share. So I, I shared mine. Mine was the popcorn, the can, and I never really paid attention to the can, 
But for this year, I I spotted that can. So I got that can. I don't know, my eyes keep running. So I got that can. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This looked like my eye was running. <clears throat> so I got that can of popcorn. And I'm excited about it. And I'm going to get the cookies. I'm going to go look tomorrow for the cookies for my, um, and remembers of my sister. I, I love every time I holidays come, every time Christmas come, I want those cookies because that's just a fond memory that I have of my big sister. And, and my big sister started that because um, we, we didn't have much growing up. We didn't have much. And um, she always wanted to give us a gift. And that was her gift. That's what she started giving us as a gift was those that tin can of of um, of cookies that we kept. I kept those cans as long as I could. I, I don't know where they are now, and because they're keepsakes, and that's why I figured these were keepsakes. So this would be a keepsake because it's something that you can keep. You can you once your tea is all gone, or you can reuse it for your tea. You can still have it as a keepsake. This can be a keepsake. Something that you can you can have. And especially if, if you're giving it to someone for a gift. I mean, it's it's, it's a keepsake. Or you can even... Because um, I was going to put something in it. But then I thought, no. If, if it's a gift, why, you can write a personal message here. You can write you, type you out a personal message, or handwrite it. Hand, handwritten is more uh, personal. Uh, so, handwrite you, you a message and put it here. And they, they always have it. And this is, because with me, it doesn't take a lot to make me happy. This can, with this tea, with a handwritten message, would mean more to me. Then you buy me what probably a thirty forty dollar blouse. I will. This would mean because this is something that I would cherish. I can keep it because ten you can keep it forever. You can use it for many different things. If you don't want to continue to use it for your teeth, you can use it um, to put other things in. You know. Like if you sew, maybe you can use it to put but keep buttons in or keep pins in, you know, what whichever you, you prefer to do, you know. So I think I think um you can you can do a couple of things with this little and it's not expensive. It's only five dollars, you know. So and I'm gonna put those on the website tonight if anybody wanna purchase them. I will put them on the website, or you can go to uh, you can go to my page and just let me know if you want to purchase one. Whichever way you do it is fine. Yeah. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and and um, give you those dates again. Um, we're gonna do December the 27th is gonna be our. Um, end of the year tea bash virtual style so we're adjusting we just adjust because don't let what's going on don't let it steal your joy you remember I, and i spoke about this early on in the beginning just find a way around it or find a way to enjoy your season don't let COVID steal your joy okay don't let what's going on in this nation steal your joy. Don't let it steal your joy. You remember? Y'all remember we talked about joy? What what was joy? Y'all remember? Hmm. How many remember? Don't let it steal your joy. So okay. So we're gonna do our end of the year tea bash. We're gonna do it virtual style. I mean, we're doing things that we've never done before, and and they're not all that bad. Some are more exciting. Some are more challenging. Like this for me. This for me was so challenging. I was so fearful. I'm like, 
you know, I'm going on live. The whole world can see me if they want to, or, which the whole world is not seeing. I have a crew of you guys. But the response I have gotten from this tea and jazz, yeah, it just fills my heart with joy. I, I didn't expect for it to to go as well as it's going, you know? And, and every time I come on here and I see those little pictures popping up, I get so excited. I, it just it energizes me. I can be tired or I could be just like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to sip my tea here and just be alone. Don't want to comb my hair. Don't want to put on no, put on no makeup. I just want to sip my tea. But when I get on here and I start seeing y'all, I see these numbers and see like every week my numbers is going up. More people are looking. So that excites me. And, and it makes me, it pushes me to go, to, to continue to go on, you know? So I like that. And I, I like sitting here chatting with you ladies as we sip our tea and listen to the jazz. And if, if I go on and on and you feel that, you know, it's a little bit too much, just say, Lady J, let us listen to the jazz for a minute. That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just going to sit back and just poo and let y'all listen to the jazz, you know, because I enjoy, I enjoy you ladies, I do, and I just get excited, and sometimes I just go talking and talking and I can't stop because I'm so excited, and, and most of the time I get on here, I don't even know what I'm going to say or what we're going to do until I actually get on, and then something that hit me and I just type it, like today. I just said, okay, what are we going to talk about? I said, look, it's good. So I looked at my tree. I told y'all last week I was going to put my tree up there. I put this tree up. It's not the best tree and it's not the prettiest tree, but it's my little tree, you know? And I'm sharing my little tree with y'all. I'm trying to let y'all see this thing. It kind of fell down. It's, let's see. Y'all see my tree? By my tree? Yeah. See, I got on the day. I didn't come here. And, I'm doing, but that's, and then I got come. You know what? And here's another thing. Whenever you think that you're not good enough or you don't think certain things are right, but at that moment, that's all you have, go with it. Because to you, it may, it may not be what you want or how you want it, but somebody else may really like it. Like Lady Mona got on here and said she really liked my hair. And I was thinking, okay, so I need to wash this hair. I need to do something with it. I need to. So it's like, thank you, La Lady Mona. Mona, you just full of uh, uh, coming to me. Thank you. So just. Just go for it, you know? If, if you have a, a, a nudge or urge to do something, just go for it. Pray about it. And if, if, if he leads you in that direction, just do it. Just go ahead and do it. Because you never know where it may lead you to. You never know. You never know. So... Our time is almost up. How many more minutes we have? Oh my gosh, 57. We have three minutes left. And the next three minutes, I want to say thank you. First, first I'm going to finish out this chest pie. I want to thank you ladies for joining me tonight. You see my bed? Did y'all see my bed? Hmm. I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight. And I also want you to remember the real reason for this season. Remember the real reason. And let's not get 
so caught up in the commercial commercialism. Let's not get caught up in the commercialism of Christmas. But let us be mindful of the real reason. And let's spread love. Let's spread peace and joy. You know? Say kind words to someone. Make a kind gesture. So we can display. Let's display the real meaning of Christmas. I know we say it all the time. Um, sometimes people, and then you write about it. But let's just display it. Let's just show love on these next 17 days, okay? And again, thank you all, ladies, for joining Lady J for Tea and Jazz. And until we meet again, be blessed. Good night.